welcome back to my channel what I have for you today is we're going to get those stamps out again I'm obsessed with these stamps I don't know how I survived without them <laughs> I really don't so let me show you what you'll need if you want to make this project I want to upcycle this protein powder container um, I was at mom's over the weekend and she had this little thing of protein powder and it had gone bad so I took it and I said oh I think I can make something really nice it's plastic kind of large so you just need some kind of container then I'm going to be using I'm pretty sure the Waverly chalk paint in cashew and then I'm going to be using my baking soda to give it some texture and then I I debated what to do I bought this and you'll see this in an Amazon haul tomorrow this stays on ink okay and this is timber brown so I think I'm going to apply that for the stamps then I'll need my stamps and then I'm going to be using my brush that I truly love okay and then I'm probably I may do a little bit of antiquing if I do you'll need a brush something like this and if I antique huh, I think maybe burnt umber will be involved maybe some coffee latte from folk art and maybe the warm buff from apple barrel I really don't know you'll need some fine sandpaper and that is it so let me get everything turned down and we will start to upcycle this plastic container and make a beautiful farmhouse farmhouse french country um, little DIY okay I have some of these little um, bowls and I'm just going to take my Waverly chalk paint in the cashew I'm just going to pour out a little bit I don't need a lot that's probably plenty maybe too much and then I'm just going to take some of this baking soda and pour it in here just to give it a little bit of texture I usually mix it just until it gives the texture that I like so just up to you what you do I'm going to have to put a little bit more paint okay and that should be plenty okay and then we'll just mix this up it sounds real gritty when I'm mixing it but that's the consistency that I have okay then I'm going to take my brush clean this off of the spoon with my brush and then I'll just start applying this right on here I love this color I think it is so French country farmhouse love it but you could do any color that you wanted and we'll just keep applying this it already looks better I think <laughs> definitely has a more vintage feel to it I love to take items that I have around the house and totally change them I'm hoping this will turn out really pretty I'm going to put this brush in this baggie so it does not dry out I'm out of my Ziploc baggies I really like them 
and then I'll hit this with a hair dryer and I'll be well here it is I went ahead and put a second coat off camera and dried it with a hair dryer this dries so quickly this just looks like it's a um, a vase that is made out of plaster I hope it's coming across I really can't tell but I love this all right so now what I want to do is I'm going to start stamping I have these IOD uh, stamps these are the floral swag now you can do any of these that you want you could reuse the same ones I just saw these and really love them and they have that protective sheet on the front and before you use your stamps I've been doing this I don't think I've been mentioning it maybe I mentioned it in two videos ago I'm not sure but you have to condition your stamps using a light sandpaper and you want to go like down and then cross you want to go in two different directions you don't want to sand it a lot you're just giving it um, as they say a little bit of tooth to it okay I debated whether I wanted to get the IOD ink in uh, China blue and put it on here I couldn't decide but I think I'm going to try the stays on in that timber brown I think this will be really pretty I've never used the stays on ink before so we'll see I hope I'm going to like this so what I'm going to do is I'm like I said I've already taken the sandpaper to my um, stamps and once you do that they look a little um, hazy and that's okay so I think I want to get this one and don't worry about ripping them when you tear them off of here they're very sturdy okay okay and then I'm going to get these two rollers to keep this from rolling around and I want to see what I want to do I think that would be really pretty let's just go for it I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to be doing okay now you can either cut this off of this backing that they have and use it to apply your stamps or you could get a clear um, plastic block to do it when I'm doing this I like to just have them like this okay and I'm just going to put this down right like this I'm gonna overlap this paper a little and then I think you'll be able to see okay and then I'm just going to start stamping the stays on seems to be very um, juicy so that's good okay with these stamps what you want to do you want to figure out where you want it maybe a little tricky since this is angle but you want to as they say commit and then just press down hold one hand on it to keep everything where it belongs use your other hand to press down I hope you can see And if this looks a little old, that is fine by me. Oh, look at that, how pretty that turned out. I wish I had put it down a little more, but that is fine, okay? Then what we'll do, we'll just ink this up again. And I really like this collar. I think it looks really pretty with these um, stamps. Now, I'm going to try. To get this. And this dries pretty quickly, so I'm not really worried. And like I said, if it smears a little bit, that's okay too. Now I probably shouldn't have inked all of this because I can see this quite wasn't long enough but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it down 
touch it there and I think I shifted. Okay, and then we're just going to touch all of this. Pretty sure I did shift. Now I did shift on that one and I didn't hit, but I like it. I think it just looks old and worn out. I just think that looks a little bit more worn. I love that. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean my stamps with a wet one because I'm through with this one and I don't want any of that ink drying. Okay, and you can see just with that wet one cleaned up. Okay, now I'm taking this stamp that was on that set and I'm going to ink it up. I really do like this color. I think it gives it a nice look. And I want to take this to the top. I wish I had a knob, but I don't. So I'm going to take this, make sure I have it pretty much in the middle and just take it down the side, okay? And I wanna to touch everything right down through here. Up here and lift. Look at this, okay? Then we're going to do the same thing on this side. It's just looking like a very old, very vintage container that we found somewhere. I love it. I'm going to connect right up with that. Once you put it down, leave it where it is and just press on everything. Make sure you hit everywhere you want it to come in contact. And lift up and this is what we're getting look at that coming down through there I love it this is what we're getting so far but we're not finished I just think that is so just it gives it a totally French country look farmhouse look you would never know what that is now I'm going to take this little one that comes in the set and I'm going to do the same thing with it. Reminds me of those beautiful windows in those churches in um, Paris. Ugh, they're gorgeous. All right, and I'm going to put this one right here. This one is much more manageable. Okay, make sure you touch everywhere. Keep one hand still, then lift. That's what we're getting. Okay, then I'm gonna take it over here. Put it a little lighter this time, like maybe this side is a little faded. Okay, and that's what we're getting. I think that is so cute. Now, if you wanted, you could put some more in here. You could put one here. I think I will, and here. You can do as much as you want to this. Remember, there's nothing right or wrong way to do this. It's your creation. Whatever you like is what matters. As long as you like it, that's the only thing that matters. Now, right here on this edge, I'm going to take it, put it right on here. And lift up, just like that. I just think this is cute, really, really cute.
okay? Now what I could have done, now that I'm thinking about it, I could have taken my rope molds and put rope around the top and rope around the bottom and painted that. But I didn't do it, so I'm not going to worry about it now. Okay, after looking at these, this one just hanging out by itself, I was like, no, it needs something. So I'm going to go back to this, and I'm going to take my stamp ink, and I'm just going to ink it from where I know I want it to be. to bring it right here and press it down and then lift up and now it looks more like it belongs there okay and maybe on this one I don't I don't think I have enough ink on this I'm going to just go ahead ink it lightly do the same thing do a wash on it let me okay I put a squeeze of the burnt umber in I put a squeeze of the coffee latte a little bit more of the coffee latte and a little bit more of the warm buff put a ton of water in it it just looks like a very watered down hot chocolate to me okay I'm just going to take a little bit of this and just start putting it on here just to kind of give it a little more aged look well this ink is not dry it is not like the iron orchids ink be very careful oh my okay if you do this, you want to keep it off the ink or hit it immediately. Now, when I did the Iron Orchids ink, I didn't have any problem. But this is wanting to change it. And I don't know that I really am telling that much difference. Maybe just a little bit. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, okay? Definitely gonna watch when it comes to that top. I'm going to Dab it here and dab it off. Dab it here, dab it off. It is making it look darker, but I don't want that smear issue that I was having. Well, here it is. I love how this turned out. You would never know that this was a protein container. Just look at that, how beautiful that is. And it didn't ruin it uh, where I put the glaze over it, the light wash of color on it. It just really, it made it darker in places. Now, like I said, 
If you use the Iron Orchid, I didn't have any problems with my ink smearing uh, or running. With the stays on, even though it says it dries quickly, it kind of made it run, but I took a paper towel and dabbed it and no harm, no foul. So I'm happy about that. But I love how it's, it's just looks old. It looks like it's worn in places. I love it. And I love the top. I think that is so pretty. It's a great way to upscale a plastic protein powder bottle. That's all I can say. So we'll take a look um, how this looks sitting around somewhere in my house. I, I don't know where I'm going to put it in my house, but it's lovely. It would be beautiful in my hut, just decor. I could set it in my kitchen and put tea bags in it. We have an electric kettle and we make hot tea with honey and lemon all the time. That would be pretty. It would just be so pretty. Just anything. You put flowers in it. It's unlimited. So uh, we'll take a look. I don't know where I'll put it, but I'll show you somewhere in here just sitting around. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So I will see you tomorrow for a wonderful Amazon haul. I found so many farmhouse items, crafting items. I'm excited. So I think you'll really enjoy the video. So let me go get Maggie and let her say hi to you. Well, here she is. She says, I was just in there around my toys trying to figure out which one I wanted to play with. <laughs> my husband said yesterday, he said, you know, she has a rough life. I said, yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> So let's go see how this looks just sitting around somewhere in my house. Well, here it is. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I think this is so unusual looking. And that paint right there just looks like an old plaster container that was just so old. And I love how it looks on the top. And then down the sides like that, I think it just gives it such character. And it was a wonderful up flip for this. I really do love it. But you could paint it any color that you wanted. You could do any stamps that you wanted. Um, I do prefer the IOD ink though. I will tell you that it, it does not uh, run like this does when it gets wet, but I think this is really pretty and I like that um, little bit of brown that I put on it, that wash. I think it just gave it a little bit of an older feel. So until next time, bye guys.